Hi guys, I'm live again on 20 on day 24 of Veda challenge. Today I couldn't go anywhere because as I told you some yesterday or the day before yesterday I think it was, I told you that today is the day I will relaunch my blog so with together with Chris who's online at this very moment with us. Uh, we are redesigning the whole thing and relaunching tomorrow morning. Hi Chris, he's saying hi to you all guys. And uh, we will relaunch with a new design, it's beautiful and he's doing magic, I swear. He's really good, if you ever need somebody helping you with your website, he's your guy. I totally recommend him. Um, and we will relaunch in two languages from tomorrow on. You will be able to read my blog post in English. Yay! So, um, I wanted to add something about what I said yesterday. I totally forgot um, to tell you that if for any reason you can't do whatever you do for a living location independent or you don't want to, which is possible as well, then I recommend you to think about what are your talents, um, what are you good at. Um, for example, um, let's take the teaching example. You, you're really good at teaching, so why don't you do an online course about what you'll ask about something you're passionate about. So, let's say, am I what? I don't understand the, the question, I'm sorry. Um, so you're really passionate about, I don't know, horses. So why don't you write an ebook about this special thing that you like about horses that you're really good at, that you're passionate about, um, and you do an online course about it. Or um, dancing. Why don't you do something with dancing, although it was only your hobby till now? So think about what you like, what you're good at, and what you're really passionate about, and try to combine this with what you did before. So let's let's say you're doing something as an engineer in a company, and you really can't do that location independent, but you're organizing in the position you have a lot, and you're really good at organizing. So why don't you become an online consultant, for example, or an event manager, or something where you have to organize. So think about that. Don't just stop and, okay, it's not possible to make it location independent. Think about it. If you really want it, you can find something. That's what I wanted to add. Um, the new topic is how to travel low budget. That's it. Um, so there are three main topics when we talk about traveling low budget. One is um, transport, transportation, how to get from A to B. Then there's housing, thank you for the hearts, whoever you are. And then there's food. So let's start with the like how to come, how to get from A to B. Um, for example, there are relocation deals. You should definitely check, for example, um, cruise ships do relocation deals. So that in summer, for example, they are going um, in Europe, and in our in the European winter, they are going to Latin America. And to go from Europe to Latin America, they offer the ride really cheap. So last year, I went from from Spain to Brazil for 150 euro. An eight days trip with all inclusive food, drinks, everything. So that's a really good deal, I guess. And the same with car rentals. Okay, you don't have all inclusive when you do car rental, but sometimes car rental companies need to get one car from, let's say, Berlin to Rome. I just say something, right? And you, you would like to do that as well, to go from Berlin to Rome. Then they will give you like a week of time that you can uh, you take the car in Berlin and then you bring the car to Rome in one week. And in the meantime, you can do with the car whatever you want. And normally you either don't pay anything or really just a percentage of what you normally would pay. 
So, and then there are websites putting air affairs online. So air affairs is when a company like for um, for flights or whatever um, is putting the wrong price online, right? So that's an air affair. So the the flight price, the price for the flight, instead of being 600, it's only 60 because they forgot the zero in the end, right? So there are websites putting all those air affairs online, and you you can book it from that website. I never did that actually, but I heard really good things about that. So you can try that. So you will find really cheap flights with that. It's possible that they'll cancel your flight, but that can only happen within, I think, 24 hours. So if you pass 24 hours and you still have the ticket and you didn't get an email, you have the ticket for a really, really cheap price. Let's talk about the housing. So I think one one option that is really known everywhere is couch surfing. It's a really, really good opportunity to travel the world for free. And the best thing about it, it's not that it's free. The best thing is that you meet locals, that you can live with the locals, that you get to know them, and you really make friendships that you could never do without couch surfing. So if you never tried that, because you always thought, um, it's a bit dangerous or whatever, if you choose carefully where to go, it's not dangerous at all. Um, I'm a girl, so everybody's like, oh, you can't do that as a girl alone, go to the people you don't know and sleep at, on a couch, but it's, it's really cool. If you choose only people who have references, reviews, for example, or, and you can see the photos, you can, you can even ask them to talk to them before. Um, so there are possibilities to, to reduce the danger, the risk, let's say. So yeah, I think you should definitely try that if you never did. And another possibility that is a bit less known, I guess, is house sitting. So there are people going on vacation or they have to leave their home country for a while or they're, they're, they're wherever they stay but they have pets or they have plants, cats, pets, did I say cats or pets? I don't remember. Uh, pets and, and plants or they just don't want to leave their house alone. So you stay there for free taking care of the um, plants and pets if there are some. If not, you're just staying there and yeah, pay attention to taking care of the house, right? So it's a really, really awesome possibility. You, 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 yeah, you get to know the locals as well, a bit less because there is nobody living with you in the house, what you have when you do couch surfing. But still you have neighbors and, and you live somewhere. Normally the house sitting can be a week, but normally it's at least a month. So you really get into the community wherever you live. I think a friend of mine did it in Mexico. She's a travel blogger as well, Melanie, from Good Morning World, the blog. Um, she did it in Mexico in Tulum for three months. So it's an awesome possibility to, to live your own life because when you do couch surfing, you're a bit dependent on your hosts. So you live your own life inside a community. Hi, Hakan. Yeah, that's the two really good possibilities to have housing for free. And for food, yeah, it's a bit lame, I know, but I don't really have better tips than just go to the market, go there where locals buy, go to the supermarket, don't go too often in restaurants, depending on where you are. When you're in Asia, it's really common to go a lot to restaurants, but still, if, you, if you're on a budget, you can go to the market instead of going to the restaurant three times or two times at least a day. That's my three tips. Hi, Daria. Oh, Dariam? I don't know. Hi. Thank you, Albert. Um, yeah, I hope my tips help you. You don't seem to have many questions or comments. Um, that's what I wanted to talk about. I'm in a really beautiful bar here in Palermo 
uh, close to the... We have a Statue of Liberty here in Palermo. It's really close, um, but it's super small. But yeah, the Stato della Libertà. Um, I guess I will go on working on my relaunch now. I guess Chris is already waiting for me. Earthquake today in Italy. I know, I heard about that. I think 10 people died. That's, that's really terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Let's don't stop with something like that. More than 60 now, really? Wow. Okay, yeah, I'm really in my relaunch at the moment and don't really follow news or anything else. That's, it's a terrible thing to end this vlog. Yeah, don't know what to say. I think there's nothing to say. Except, thanks for tuning in and repeat name hosters. Name of hosters? Which hosters? What do you mean? Um, you mean house sitting? Um, well, anyway, you can write me on Twitter your questions at bbarbaralicious. And um, yeah, check out my YouTube channel. Search for Barbara Riedel. And see you tomorrow. 5 p.m. Central European Summer Time. Thanks for being here. Bye.